Hey, how's it going? Going to be talking about old Minecraft today, and my experience with it both as a kid and in the present day. By old, I mean versions prior to the Adventure Update, which was Beta 1.8, released September 14th, 2011. Naturally, some people would include Minecraft versions released in 2014 to be old, they are a decade old after all. I personally don't see these as old though, just early modern if that makes sense. The Adventure Update is where the direction of Minecraft took a drastic turn, and for that reason myself, and the Golden Age Minecraft community, considers versions before Beta 1.8 to be old Minecraft. The Golden Age, if you will. I started playing Minecraft in 2011, when the newest version was Beta 1.6.5. I'll set the stage. It is early June 2011. I am 11 years old. My lifetime buddy Cameron comes over and sees me playing Blockland. He says there's another blocky game that I might enjoy, called Minecraft. So, I went online and messed with the old web-based Minecraft classic, before deciding to get the full game. I ask my dad, who buys the full version of the game for me, at a cheaper price due to the game being in beta. I start it up, and am immediately hooked. I still remember the feeling of wonder. Minecraft was the first game I played that was a survival sandbox, and it fascinated me. Minecraft then consumed my life for several months, and it quickly became my favorite game. Fast forward, the next major version, Beta 1.7, added pistons, shears, and a new cobblestone texture that, to this day, I think looks worse than the OG. But despite these versions of the game being well over a decade old, there is a surprisingly prominent community that still plays them. Minecraft Before the Adventure Update had a simplicity to it that simply no longer exists today. I'll be going over that more later in the video and why I think old Minecraft is so special to so many people, including those who never played it back in the day. Also, unlike the case with Blockland, I still have most of my old beta worlds of Minecraft saved and will be showing them off. I also have, um, yeah, my old YouTube videos. These videos are close to 14 years old and are, uh, interesting, to say the least. Let's jump into that first, shall we? Alright, to start us off, let's get into some high-tier cringe. Here's my first Minecraft video I uploaded on June 4th, 2011. I cannot express how perfectly this video captures early 2011 YouTube. From Paralyzer by Finger11 playing in the background, to unregistered hypercam and the video being edited in Windows Movie Maker, to the 480p resolution, this is just mwah, perfect. There's also the fact that not only do I have no fucking clue how to play this game while offering advice, but the house is made from sand and dirt. The footage is so poor quality, if I didn't know any better, I would assume this is footage from a Minecraft ARG. If the idea wasn't already played out, I would probably make one and include this footage in it. And then to the best part, this video is 10 minutes long. I offer such useful advice such as, put your item in chest before going out, which actually isn't that bad of a suggestion. After this fantastic piece of advice, I proceed to show absolutely nothing for 5 minutes as I wander around in the dark like a blind man. And then I funking die, likely because I was attempting to fight using a stick, which at the time I believe did more damage than your fists. I offer the advice, never stop attacking even if you just have your fists. Advice that is applicable to all facets of life, including when you're dealing with police or the homeless. And then finally, I attempt to mine coal with a stick. And then I am surprised when no coal is yielded. Oh yeah, then the video finally abruptly ends while digging gravel with a pickaxe. The I have no words, this is the perfect Minecraft video. I'll be honest, this is one of the funniest fucking things I've ever seen and it's me. It's me as an 11 year old doing dumb shit, and this is, this is fantastic. Now for a video that is slightly more comprehensible. Alright, here we have my magnum opus. Not a whole lot going on here, except the aforementioned zombie riding a minecart. The video quality is still hog shit, and I continue to speak in that early internet can I has chesburger speech. I would have thought I'd be cringing into oblivion rewatching this, but I have to say, it's fucking hilarious. I think my sense of humor has become too ironic, and now it's broken. Please send help. Next, in an M. Night Shyamalan level twist, we have a creeper riding a minecart. Absolutely crazy. I thought this world was lost, but I actually ended up finding it, and it's pretty neat. Crazily enough, before I privated this video a few years ago, it had 527 views. I've since unprivated it, because it's a neat piece of history. Next, we have a video showing a private server me and my buddy from Poland had. He was the host, so I obviously no longer have this world. I can't remember what happened between us, but we haven't been in contact for close to a decade now. Hey Wakov, if you happen to watch this, hit me up dude. Regardless, this is the next five of my old Minecraft videos, just showing off stuff we built on the server. 
After those videos, we have one detailing a leak involving new blue spiders being added to the game. These, of course, were added in the next update in the form of cave spiders. Not much here, I just type in notepad a bunch, which is fucking hilarious. I speak philosophical truths that rival the greatest minds in history. I was one wiki searching researching, then it brings a tear to my eye. Does Notch and Jeb just pump out ideas? <laughs> Dude, I've got nothing. This is just funny as shit. I also show off the wiki page as it was, so you know it's real. A neat little piece of Minecraft history. But, that's the last of my old Minecraft videos on versions prior to the adventure update. There are a couple on the beta 1.8 pre-releases, back when Enderman had green eyes and emitted smoke particles instead of purple particles. I'll link a playlist with these videos in the description if you want to watch them. The cringe is deadly, but it's pretty fucking funny. Alright, now onto the old worlds I have saved. Most of them have very little built on them, but specifically the ones I showed in the zombie and creeper and minecart videos, I actually spent a decent amount of time on. I'll have videos of me exploring these old worlds in the background for the next segment. One question that's frequently asked is, why would you play these old versions of Minecraft when modern Minecraft is so much better? Well, I would argue that modern Minecraft isn't necessarily better. It's just different. It's more technically impressive and has a shitload more content, but it isn't necessarily better. Of course nostalgia has a part to play, for me in particular, but there are a lot of players who never experienced these older versions back in the day, who enjoy them thoroughly today. Back in these versions, the game was just a lot simpler. There was no hunger bar to manage, no end boss, no enchanting, no potions, not even sprinting. Content bloat is a term I've heard used, and I think it's appropriate. For every awesome change made to Minecraft these days, like the new caves, the deep dark, and the new nether, there's an equal amount of stuff that just feels unnecessary to me. One good example of this is the whole diorite, andesite, and granite edition back in release 1.8. Yes, it's more building blocks to use and they look good, but it also clutters your inventory both when mining and when storing your haul. There's also the aspect of just how many real-world animals that have limited purpose have been added in the game. It's cool to see, I guess, but I personally would rather have fewer mobs with greater depth than loads of uninteresting mobs. I know it's just my personal preference and most players prefer the bloated amount of content, but I just think it could be better. These old versions of Minecraft were also less realistic. The grass in beta is a deep green hue instead of the more realistic shades in modern Minecraft, and in alpha it was fucking neon green. The terrain generation was also more... wacky. Floating islands were relatively common, and the unusual terrain was all over the place. The newest versions of Minecraft are fixing this with the new massive mountains and intricate caves, but for well over a decade, the old versions had more interesting terrain, in my opinion. There was a lot less to find in old beta generation. No mine shafts or villages, but the fun in exploring was finding cool locations themselves. There's also the fact that old survival was more difficult. No, you couldn't starve to death, but overall the mobs posed a much more significant threat. There wasn't the power creep that has existed since enchantments were added, which was made even worse with the addition of netherite. The new warden enemy helps this somewhat, but that can only be found in one specific biome. In my RPG Loot and Monsters data pack, shameless plug, I tried to combat this by adding stronger monster variants, but that could only do so much. And of course, there were new items that made you stronger, which kinda reversed the difficulty spike. I also no longer work on it, at least not for now, so yeah, if you're looking for something that increases difficulty, you might want to look elsewhere or play on older versions of modern Minecraft. In the data pack, though, there was a setting called Spectres, which were invisible mobs that were quick and strong that would kill you if you wandered outside your base's walls at night. This added a nice bit of difficulty and made night scary again. But overall, I just feel like modern Minecraft is in an uncomfortable place between being like an RPG with consistent enemy and player progression and being like old Minecraft where regardless of your gear, nights were scary. And can I just say this? I fucking hate the hunger system in Minecraft. Yes, it's realistic to need food, but you needed food in previous versions to heal. It seems like in modern Minecraft, every 30 seconds I need to deep throat a pork chop to keep from dying, and it's incredibly annoying. And I'm not just shitting on Minecraft, hunger systems in most survival games are like this, annoying and serve no other purpose than forcing you to spend time gathering food instead of any of the fun things you would rather be doing. I think most of the time they're only included because people expect it to exist. At least it lets you sprint, which, again, makes it a lot easier to flee from enemies instead of having to fight them. But back when you had no sprinting and unenchanted diamond gear was the best you could get, the nights were actually kinda scary. Pair that with no brightness slider, and things got spooky. And a fact that I find kinda funny actually, is that back in beta 1.3 when beds were first added, they were actually kind of a controversial addition. Now this isn't just because later phantoms would be added, which are horrible and should be erased from existence with nuclear flame, 
but because they let you skip the night and you can obtain them easily in the first day. This would of course just let you skip the night, which is the hard part of the game. And this was also made a little bit worse because shears weren't added until beta 1.7, so you would get the full yield of wool from sheep just by fucking punching them. Now, despite all that being said, I still play and enjoy modern Minecraft. But because I love this game, I want it to improve. One quality of life improvement that also gets rid of some of the bloat that I am not the first to think of is universal resource types. For example, instead of gathering andesite, diorite, cobblestone, etc., you gain stone, and you can then select what type of block you want to place with a single resource that is easily stackable and sortable. For the difficulty issue, maybe buffing monsters based on the gear level of players, kind of like 7 Days to Die does. There's a leveling system in the game, so it's not one-to-one, -one, but you should get the idea. What would be even, even more interesting is that slowly, more types of mobs start spawning. This, of course, would be dependent on player progress and the biome, so kinda like the Husk and Stray, but with more difficulty scaling. The Husk and Stray are cool and all, but it's just a normal zombie and skeleton that inflict a status effect when they attack you. How about fucking sandworms in the desert and giant spiders in the jungle? Stuff like that would be interesting to see. Will something like that ever happen? Probably not. Bo Yang would probably just put it up to a vote, and the community would vote to add a normal-sized earthworm instead of a giant spider or ice dragon or something. Can you tell I don't like the mob vote? But anyway, back to beta and how to play it these days. I played beta 1.6.6 on the Betacraft launcher for this video. Betacraft gets you the original beta jar as it was back then, instead of the old version jar files from the official Minecraft launcher. The official launcher gives you a version with the new sound effects, which is... weird. Maybe for copyright reasons? Gameplay-wise, those versions seem identical to actual beta versions, but it still just doesn't feel right hearing the new door and bow sounds in beta. Either way, there's no wrong way to experience beta, but if you want the authentic experience, use Betacraft. Then we have something truly awesome. Better Than Adventure, abbreviated to BTA, is a modded version of beta 1.7.3 you can run through the multi-MC launcher. BTA is more of an alternate history version of Minecraft, where the hunger bar was never added and a lot of scrapped features actually made it into the game. And despite it being a modded beta version, it still has a lot of the modern quality of life features modern Minecraft has, such as an FOV slider and much more. It also has a lot of really interesting expanded features. It has four different damage types, and each set of armor protects against different types of damage. For example, iron armor protects equally against all types, and then you have leather, which protects mostly from falling damage. I think that's really fucking interesting, and adds a purpose for leather armor past day two. It also has changing seasons, which is one of my favorite features. It has more expansive dungeons that have spike traps in them. Honestly, just a lot of really cool stuff. And one fascinating feature that kind of addresses the beta 1.3 bed edition fiasco is that you need to kill zombies to be able to make a bed. You have to kill zombies to get cloth, which means you actually have to experience combat to be able to skip the night. Of course, Better Than Adventure is not finished yet, and they have a lot of planned features, including something I've been wanting to see since I was a kid. Pigman Villages. Yes, we got piglins in the nether update, but they are not the same at all. Instead of the dumbass squidwards we have as villagers now, originally, they were planned to be pigmen. Literally bipedal pigmen who... I guess traded with you or something. The idea was never fleshed out, but I'm really hoping BTA adds them eventually. That I would love to see that shit. Either way, BTA is fantastic and I would highly recommend it. I even got some friends to try it out with me. But now for a flip-flop. Instead of modding old Minecraft to add some quality of life features from new Minecraft, we're gonna mod new Minecraft to be more like old Minecraft. Beta 1.7.4 is a mod pack of over 100 mods that brings back some of the old Minecraft features, such as eating directly to heal and no sprinting. But it also has mods like battle towers and a whole lot of sound effects for basic actions like swinging a sword and opening your inventory. I'll be honest, this is kind of a weird one, but I didn't have a bad time exploring it. I feel like if they slimmed down the amount of mods it could be better, but it really does just feel cluttered. There is so much shit in the overworld that I get sensory overload. But we've talked about old Minecraft, we've talked about new Minecraft, and we have talked about new Minecraft made to look like old Minecraft. So how about a conclusion? Well, part of this video was definitely just to show off some of the old videos I found, which are hilarious and cringy, but mostly hilarious. But mostly, I just wanted to share some nostalgic experiences I had, while also quantifying why old Minecraft is still as popular as it is today. It's had a pretty significant resurgence, and I think there are a lot of good reasons for it. Whether or not people have nostalgic memories of these versions in 2010, I don't know. People seem to like them anyway. I hope I was able to explain some of those reasons today, and maybe you'll give old Minecraft a shot. 
If you own Minecraft Java, playing old Minecraft is pretty easy. Just download Betacraft or enable legacy versions in the retail launcher and download a version. I'll continue to simultaneously enjoy old and new Minecraft though. Generally with friends I play modern, but alone I play either Beta 1.6 or Better Than Adventure. But I'm actually getting some friends to try out Better Than Adventure, and it's been a blast. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope for some of you I was able to awaken some nostalgic memories, and most of all, I hope this video made your day just a little bit better. Take care. Hey, I'm gonna check out this dirt hole. That's what I- that's what I- Yeah. Ha 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 ha! Check out this dirt hole.